Packing up Christmas packages for prisoners. That's how church members from the Southern Baptist Convention and the South Carolina Women's Missionary Union spent their Monday. I love the Lord, and this is one way that I can serve him right here with such a great need. With so many ways to give and so many people in need, some may ask, why inmates? For Ann Dawson, the answer is simple. As Jesus said, the, the least, if you do for thing, people that are the least in society, you're doing it for me. So probably that's what touches people's hearts. The prisoner packets include things like pens, notepads, envelopes, and some toiletries. Items most of us take for granted but mean so much to others. Sometimes it's the only gift they get, some of them, at Christmas. And um, to be remembered and have people they don't even know show love to them by giving. I think it means a lot. When you talk to the inmate who received these gifts, the response is always the same, that someone care for us, someone love us. We have not been forgotten. For the past several months, churches from across the state have been collecting these supplies, giving nearly 22,000 inmates at the State Department of Corrections a reason to celebrate Christmas. We can give as we can, and this is one way, and they, these people are not visible, but we know they're there, and if we can show love, that probably is it that we were commanded to do. Chaplain Reed White is proud to be a part of something positive for the prisoners. Although White acknowledges the inmates have made mistakes, he says everyone is deserving. They're still God's children, regardless of the fact they're incarcerated, but they're still God's children. He loves us. He loves them. 